Hello everyone, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and making some really good trades as per usual. Now let's dive into some analysis here onto the markets and obviously uh, uh, I'm getting a lot of heat now <laughs> because I said a short squeeze was coming but it doesn't have <coughs> excuse me it doesn't have to happen like on the day that I post the video right this is a like medium term outlook that I have um, and I think that it's still very possible even with uh, a lot of bad news and the VIX spiking like today and I know it seems very unlikely <laughs> with a down day right uh, everyone kind of goes with uh, the the flow when we're bull we're bullish on bullish days and we're bearish on bearish days. Um, but right now, you know, I still have my level here on the spy that has yet to be achieved. Obviously, it looks like it wants to extend lower. Uh, we filled some gaps here, and uh, I'm not a perma bull or a perma bear. I go with what I see uh, the trend doing. Uh, obviously, this could end at any moment, the B, but I think that we may have higher to go. And we'll dive into that. So let me take a look and uh, I'll show you guys what I'm seeing right now. So I was actually doing the Dow Jones uh, very quickly. I think I had a count here. I think I was just doing very quickly on the, there we go. It was just like an ABC correction that I already charted it out. Uh, there was a whole count here. I don't know where it went, but uh, I just had this one going on. And it's essentially just the a B wave correction that I had calculated out. Yeah, that's a little bit lower, so we'll just move it down here. And overall, we are we are in my buy area on the Dow Jones. So this is a trade that I really do like at the moment. Uh, played either for you know a a higher high or a bounce, uh, call it whatever you want. But the the cycle is resetting right now. We are resetting the entire cycle on the Dow. Take a look at the RSI. It's got a little bit lower to go. It could go a little bit lower. Four hour looks like it's reset now. It's gone into the oversold area. Just ta just tagged it just a little bit, but overall, I am I am uh, bullish in the in the short to uh, medium term. Uh, things can change, so I will uh, you know acknowledge that there is definitely a big uh, shift in the momentum now. You know we've been trending up. Now we're starting to roll over a little bit. Is this the beginning of the crash? Right? It could be. It could be. But for now, you know, until the crash comes, uh, you know, I, I, I'm not I'm not going to panic out of any positions or or do anything like that. Uh, or we have some gold and silver positions uh, that we posted inside the discord that should be playing out very nicely. Gold rallying to new all time highs today. Silver rallying to new all time. Uh, no, sorry, not new all time highs, but new highs, new low, new 52 week highs, I should say. Uh, silver beautiful move here so I think uh, it looks like it's a little bit overdone now maybe it's gonna do a, a little bit of cooling off maybe it'll come back down to 25 or something consolidate and in my opinion you know precious metals like gold and silver are gonna be where like you want to be in this sector right now I, I've I've talked about this so many times in my videos I'm very bullish on these sectors look at the gold mining companies right today they were down uh, of course, everything was down today and gold and silver were pulling back. But to me, like once they get a nice little correction and they dip back down, that's going to be an accumulation uh, opportunity to, to buy to buy in. I think we got much higher to go, much, much higher to go. Uh, I think the dollar surging right now in this wave three that I illustrated it eventually will come to an end. Uh, I have a target up here uh, between 106 and 109. Uh, once it does finish. Uh, you will see the uh, the precious metals explode towards the upside because that's when the dollar starts to melt back down. Uh, right now, markets definitely struggling. Struggling today, uh, the dollar pushing so so much higher, so much and so quickly as well. Uh, the, the markets can only hold up for so much, right? And all, all things considered, it, it wasn't that terrible of a day considering the positions that we are holding inside the Discord. Uh, you know, we are currently long Tesla. Uh, between one seven uh, between this area right here right now it's at 172.05 in uh in the after hours when we take a look at apple another position that we i i am currently holding as well and profiting from uh apple actually carrying <laughs> the tech sector today up 86 basis points cracking through that 176 area very very bullish beautiful move on apple to me this looks like the low is in uh it is a leading indicator that maybe the low has already I've been been put into into the into the into this name and we got higher to go so we'll, we'll see we'll keep an eye on it uh taking a look here at nvidia 
Let me get over to NVIDIA. NVIDIA, so NVIDIA got that bounce off my uh, my buy area here. Uh, to me, it looks like it could be already finished. Uh, we we might not go lower, and this, this might be all she wrote, and you're just getting ready to go to some new all-time highs again. And, you know, this, this, there's a lot of buyers ready to step in, right? They, trust me. And I know there's a lot of fear right now. Um, you know, people are panicking. Inflation is hot. Uh, the bear thesis is very strong. It does make sense. Everything that the bears are saying makes sense. But yet we've been continuously pushing higher for such a long period of time. Uh, I think that once they capitulate, we will have that big, big crash correction uh, that I've been charting here on the spy for for quite a bit of time now so i eventually i think this will come I, I i really do i really do think this will come uh but uh maybe not yet so yeah let me let me continue here i'll take a look at the spy uh on market cipher so market cipher you still got green money flow uh momentum waves are are expanding towards the downside now so you're you're starting to get an extension towards the downside vwap is extended towards the downside as well four hour time frame you got big reduction in green money flow now you're almost at the zero line so it the, the big the big question is is are we gonna bounce here bottom bounce back up to new all-time highs and green money flow recovers or are we going to cross into the red like we did back here in uh in august right right around july and august that's when we were looking to potentially short the market a big reduction in green money flow a big bounce right big bounce back up but that's this was a a bounce to short. So right now I'm not looking to get into shorts now. If we do get a big bounce and we cross back into red money flow and we can't recover back into the green money flow, uh, and we you know we bounce back to, to some near the highs or just underneath the highs, and then we print a big momentum wave with a nice nice red dot. That's what that's a short that we're going to be taking. That's a short I will be taking, and we're going to be riding it down because we may have a period like this that could be coming. If we don't get this big short squeeze move uh, towards the upside, so lots of shorts piling in today as well. Uh, daily time frame, do I do I need to say anything? The big money's been selling for quite a bit of time. It's kind of normal that we're starting to see a rollover, right? Uh, taking a look at Apple, in a good a good example, Apple. You know, you saw so much selling for such a long period of time, and then you saw the drop come, right? So that that tells me that the low the low, sorry the low not the low the highs were, were obviously imminent but it can go on for a longer very long period of time very very long all right uh crypto market on fire today towards the downside not the upside let's take a look at some crypto miners before i start to dive into other individual names so mara down eight and a half percent today uh, into my buy area the sea leg is extending down uh, like i was saying previously so i think you're inside the accumulation zone, but I think you got lower to go. If Bitcoin if Bitcoin continues to push lower, then you're going to see Mara push significantly lower as well. Uh, taking a look here at hot mining, hot mining getting very close to my buy area. It is down in the after hours as well. Uh, I think having one pack miners, I guess there's some news coming out. It's down over four and a half percent in the after hours right now. So that is not a positive move. Uh, SLNH. This one we exited in profit and rightfully so because right now this thing is melting down towards the downside here down to $1.62. Uh, very, very dangerous name to be holding. Uh, and then let's take a look here at another name. Finally, a micro strategy. So micro strategy, probably the best one, the one that's holding it up the most, holding up the, the um, uh, actually it's holding up very well, but it's not a crypto miner. So maybe I shouldn't include this one is the crypto miner analysis. It's more like a Bitcoin ETF, to be honest. If you if you chart MSTR to uh, probably like the IBIT, very very similar chart. All right, uh, let's continue. Let me take a look at some other names here. So we'll cover Roku. Uh, Roku, another down day today, uh, down to fifty nine dollars and ninety cents. It's obviously you know very very tough trade. It's in the buy area. It's over. It's oversold. Uh, but the you know it's it's been beaten now for for quite a bit of time, and it, it can it can go lower. And I do have a stop here. So if we do go below this level, I'll stop out and we'll we'll look for a better opportunity. Uh, okay, let me take a look at some other names here. We'll cover. Let's see. Let's see if we can cover another one. AMD. So AMD uh, coming down here in an ABC correction. 
could be finished at any moment, uh, but if it does want to extend lower, you might revisit the 200 day moving average. I think this is a almost the picture perfect uh, target here for, uh, sorry, for AMD. Let me just pull it down. Yeah, or just underneath it, you should you should uh, you should hit this area. If this is if this is really the case, then the market may have maybe maybe finished because you're gonna see the SMH start to roll over. And like I said, I said that when the semis are strong, there's nothing there's nothing wrong, right? Right now, the semis are still quite strong. They're just putting in consolidation at the highs. Although you know, if you if you look at individual names, everything's kind of on fire. If you take a look at SMCI. Uh, this one looks like it's ready to pull back even lower, right? It's down 4% today. Uh, ARM down as well. We could take a look at literally every semiconductor was down today. So, but again, they're they're still strong. They're technically still strong, uh, and you don't you don't want to get ahead of yourselves, and you just want to wait till the chart tells you uh, to sell. Until then, it's just business as usual. Uh, okay, let me see here. What we what what else do we got going on? Let me take a look at some. Uh, some uh, TLT. Let's take a look at TLT. All right, so TLT uh, gapping up today uh, because you had the yield start to come down just a bit, uh, but overall the TLT looks like it's got lower to go, right? Maybe this was your your wave four, and you're just going for final fifth wave, and then you'll be finished, and then you'll get a bigger bounce in yields, or sorry, you'll get a bigger bounce in the TLT. Uh, but ultimately, I think TLT probably has to go to the bottom of this range or somewhere near it, right? And if it does go below. Uh, then you really can't go below this pivot or else you're going to be in a, in a complete meltdown scenario. Uh, and, but that, that would be very unlikely in my opinion. That would mean the yields would just start surging like crazy. You go to six, seven, eight, nine percent. And then, I mean, what do you want? Do you want the whole world to end? Is, is that what, is that what you want? <laughs> so until then, we'll, we'll see. All right, let's take a look at the DXY. So I think I covered the DXY already. Uh, but overall, I think you guys need to understand that the markets can go up with the dollar going up, just like gold can go up uh, if the DXY is going up. So you can see DXY has been going up these last couple trading sessions and the gold has been going up, right? So if this goes up, this can also go up, but naturally, normally, it it is it is uh, supposed to be, it is, the dollar rising is supposed to have a negative uh, pressure effect on silver and uh, gold. But uh, I think today we finally saw that happening. We th I think we finally saw silver and gold cave to the pressure. Maybe we've printed a short-term high here, uh, given that it's so extended. Uh, did we take out the previous high? Let me just see. Let me just get on this RSI and just take a look. Wow, this one's this one's a tough call. Let me just see. Oh wow, so you did make a new high on this RSI here. So this means that this is no longer a fifth wave. This is the whole this this entire move here. This is your third wave. This is an, enti an entire move up like this. One two right uh, yeah i guess you could do that you could you could say this and then you could do three so this is three now you're gonna get four and a fifth wave you're gonna go higher you're gonna go higher but uh, where is this gonna correct i would like to say where, where is gold gonna correct let me just see i'll do a, a little bit of a retrace all right to the 50 percent retrace yeah you could you could say that to the 618 Anywhere between this area here is a buy, in my opinion. So if gold pulls back to this level, it's a strong accumulation zone. 220. 220 is the new 2000. Oh, sorry. 2200 is the new 2000. Not 220. <laughs> 220 is all the way down here. All the way down here. We're never going to see this again. Uh, but yeah, this if it comes back down, you got to accumulate GDX, you know, silver miners, gold miners. Silver also should also pull back to this level, uh, and then uh, you, you'll know you'll know that uh, you want to be you want to be in these markets. You really want to be in these markets before before they they, they run to, to higher highs, right? Because trust me, this 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 is only the beginning. This is only the beginning. There is so much more to go on silver and gold. There is a lot more to go. Right, silver to 110, whatever. Like you're gonna have a silver squeeze, and I don't know how it's, how this is gonna work for the world, but it, it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough for sure. Uh, okay, 
So that's precious metals. We don't do those too often, uh, but they're super hot right now, so I don't mind doing them. Uh, oil, still in my sell area here. It could retrace lower. Uh, we had some a lot of Middle East action, talk about war and stuff. So I'm not too surprised to see oil spike there, but gave a lot of the gains back today. All right, let's take a look. See what the news, tumble dollar firm. Yeah, dollar rising. So I, can, I think you guys kind of get the picture. I am very open to the idea of the, of the top being in, into this market. I am very open to the idea. But I just think that there's, there's just going to be another dip buy and they're just going to keep pushing things up. And they're going to, once they, once you take out these high, once you take out these highs, what do you do then? Right? You, the, the, do the shorts panic cover because another rally's coming? Or what, what if we get data that suddenly inflation's coming down or they're going to cut rates regardless of what inflation's going to do. And I know that the recent news of the Jerome Powell saying that the rate cuts are going to have to be delayed. You, you just watch what, what, the, what the, the Biden administration is capable of. They are just literally insane. They'll, they'll drive this entire economy into the ground just to, just to get a couple of votes, right? So that's just, that's just the way things are. Um, all right. I think I've covered most things. I think some people asked me to do some individual names. Someone asked me for SoFi. Let's take a look at SoFi. Uh, I think I charted this one before. So yeah, uh, this one's a little bit, it started to impulse out, then kind of gave back all the gains. Let me just see what's going on on the weekly. Yeah, to be honest, this this could this C leg like, might not be not might not be in already. This could be an A, a B, and then just a, a longer C. Maybe you do go lower. And I did have a level down here for this wave two, I think, that was never achieved. Right? This this level was never sustained. It was never satisfied. So I think that uh, if SoFi if SoFi cracks this low, you're most likely headed into this area. And this this area is, a, is, a, is an area of accumulation, but this is a tough trade. So this this is this labeling is wrong, right? This is wrong. Uh, this is yeah. This is also in, incorrect. This was impulsive down. Yeah. So you you might you might still be in trouble here for SoFi. If this is the case. It's a large, longer term chart here, not, not, not doing any short term analysis. And then you can come back into this area, but you need, you need it to hold. You need it to hold. You need it to hold this pivot. If not, you're going all the way back down to the fours or, or even lower. And I don't like stocks that IPO and go below their IPO price. And sometimes it's, 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 that's all she wrote. <laughs> all right. Let me cover a few other things here. Uh, so I think we talked about the yields. Right, TLT essentially is the same thing about the yields, and uh, I, I'm just, I'm just, I'm not, I'm not just, I'm not ready to say that the top is in because I think I've said that too many times in the past, and it's losing, it loses a lot of, of a lot of, uh, I lose a lot of credibility <laughs> more than Jerome Powell with inflation, uh, but yeah. I think these are my buy areas, guys. Spy, Dow Jones. Dow Jones and IWM are in my buy area right now. They are in my buy area and they should continue out. I'll, I'll, I can do a count here for the Dow Jones. I can add one for the Dow Jones. This one is a, uh, this one I, I need to adjust a little bit. Uh, but overall, still still bullish on this market uh, and not given, not given up on it yet. You can see this down sloping trend line too. Just coming back to retest it one more time. Maybe we're going to take off now. We'll see. Hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Uh, and thanks for the support. We're almost at uh, 1,000 subscribers. Have a good weekend, guys. Peace.